Hi, I'm Mark Dwight, founder of Rickshaw Bagworks, and I'm here today to show you the features of our flagship product, the Commuter Computer Bag. And um, I have here one of our bags, and uh, the first thing you'll notice is that the bag stands up. This is something very important about the design of our bags. Traditionally, messenger-style bags tip over because of the way they're constructed. And we've designed this bag specifically to stand up so that it's, that it's a, a much more convenient work-out-of-the-bag uh, sort of professional bag. When we uh, lift up the flap here on the inside, one of the benefits of this stand-up design is that the interior is like a filing cabinet. So all of your paperwork just goes in there very nicely like a filing cabinet, your magazines, uh, your paperwork, your files. And then we have a special little uh, pocket here for stray papers if you want to uh, have some stray papers and put them in here. But this is a really great um, way to go through your paperwork. On the inside of the bag, there uh, is a computer sleeve. Uh, that's where your computer goes in there, flush line, very nice. This computer sleeve is actually removable. And it's not so that you can use the um, sleeve as a standalone piece, but it is so that if the size of your computer were to change, if you bought a new computer that was, uh, didn't quite fit in this bag, the, we could possibly give you a larger computer sleeve uh, to make this bag work for your new computer. Um, the other things to notice here, there's a waterproof liner. The entire inside of the bag is, uh, is protected from the elements by this waterproof liner. It's PVC free. There's no PVC in this bag. This particular film on here is made out of polyurethane, which is a much stronger and uh, more robust uh, fabric than PVC. A little more expensive for us to get, but much better performance. Um, you'll also notice there's gussets here um, that close inward as you close the bag, so there's no gap on the side of the bag. It keeps what's inside from falling out and it keeps any rain or stuff from getting inside the bag. Uh, the, the engineering of this is such that we have a little plastic uh, triangle here that's sewn flat. It wants to spring back into position and so this nicely goes back into position every time you close your bag. Another thing you'll notice when I'm lifting up the flap, you don't hear the traditional ripping sound that comes from Velcro. In fact, we have some Velcro here if you want to use it, but we have invented something called the silencer to help uh, people uh, be a little more quiet when they're uh, first getting to class or in a meeting and trying to get something out of their bag. This is a patch that goes over the Velcro here, and this patch has some magnets in it. And so when we put that patch on the Velcro and stick it there, the ma there are mating magnets in the body of the bag, and we let the flap fall down and it falls right into place, and those magnets keep it just snug enough to keep the bag looking trim. Even if you don't buckle the bottom buckles here, the flap stays in its place, and it's a really nice feature. Most people who uh, buy the bag and discover that never remove those. Um, one nice detail uh, of the Velcro that is on the front of the bag, uh, we've sewn it into the seam. It's a very fine sewing detail. Uh, normally we would just put this uh, right on top of the fabric and, and stitch it and you get kind of a little uh, edge to the Velcro, but we've worked this into the seam and uh, it's very nice. The other thing on the body of the bag is the smooth side of the Velcro, so this uh, will not rub up against your clothes and damage, uh, damage your clothes. So this is the friendly side of the Velcro on the body of the bag. On the front of the bag there are two pockets under the flap here for all of your uh, various items. And uh, there's a key tether in here. There are my keys. This is actually removable. And uh, the key tether can be worn as a lanyard. So if you want to uh, put the keys around your wrist, uh, you can do that. So uh, that key tether can, uh, can attach to either side. There's a hook on e in either of the two pockets. These pockets are separated by a divider in the middle. And so depending on whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you can put this on either side. And you can use the other one to put your um, your digital uh, data stick or something like that on there. So um, the zippers zip secure to the center here. So if you ever have the flap down and you see the um, you see the zipper pull out here, you know that you haven't zipped the pocket yet. So you want to open that up and zip that so nothing falls out of your pocket. Okay. Now when the bag uh, is closed up. Underneath here we have a waterproof liner on the bottom, so if you set the bag down on wet pavement, uh, that won't uh, damage the bottom of the bag. There's a uh, little attachment uh, loop here for your uh, blinky light if you're a bike rider. On the back of the bag we have a quick access pocket. This is a traveler's best friend. Inside this pocket, you've got a place for your passport a place for your journal. I happen to be an enthusiast of the Moleskine journal, so Moleskines fit right in that pocket there. 
and also a place for the small moleskin. I happen to use their city guides. So when I'm in uh, New York or San Francisco, I've got a, a guidebook for uh, that particular city. There's also a place for pens. We size these pen pouches for fat pens, so you can put in uh, highlighter pens, skinnier pens, uh, Sharpies, and even uh, Mont Blancs and things like that. So there's plenty of room there for any pen that you want to put in there. And then uh, inside here, you can put your newspaper. We've pleated the back panel here, so you've got plenty of room on the back. Now another thing that we've done engineering-wise is when we zip this shut and lift up the bag, if we've got a lot of weight in the bag, we don't want that weight on this zipper here, because if that zipper pulls apart and is damaged, then the bag is uh, no longer useful. So what we've done here is we've added two webbing strips right here and here, and these webbing strips connect the handle to the bottom of the bag. So the, any weight that's in the bag is being carried down those webbing strips to the bottom of the bag between the handle and the bottom. So there's never any stress on the zipper on the back, and that's how we protect that zipper. This is a strong zipper, but zippers don't like to be pulled apart, so we are protecting that there. The handle is special. The handle actually has a hard plastic insert surrounded by foam with webbing on the outside. So when you carry the bag, you get support on your hand. Uh, if it's just webbing, it will pull your hand and fatigue your hand. But this is for what we call all-day carry and comfort. Um, so very, very comfortable handle. This little loop here is th so that you can hang the bag up on a coat hook, which can be very convenient. You generally don't want to hang the bag from the uh, handle because it will dent the foam in the handle. So that's what that's for, for hanging up the bag. Now finally, one of the great features of this bag is the shoulder strap itself. And on the shoulder strap, we have a special buckle that's a quick release, and it allows you to adjust the length of the strap on the go. We've also made a padded assembly around this buckle and provided attachment points for a cross strap. So if you're a bike rider, uh, you'll know what that is, and I'll show you how to put it on in a second. So we let a little length out of the strap. We can put the strap over our head very easily, and then we can pull up on the buckle, pull up, and cinch the bag up. It's really nice when you're traveling, maybe you're running for, for the plane, you can get the bag up off the back of your body and so it doesn't bounce around while you're uh, hustling to get to where you're going. When you get there, you can let this down, get the, get the bag off your head quite easily if you've, got a, um, if you've got a helmet on or something like that, it makes it a lot easier to get the bag off. And uh, this, the uh, strap, of course, has uh, buckles on it so I can reverse this if I wear my bag the other way. It's also useful when it's on your shoulder. If you uh, carry your bag this way, you can, you can hike it up if you want and adjust it on the fly to your own special liking. So that's that, and I'll show you real quickly the cross strap. So when I am wearing this bag and I cinch it up this way, um, there's a cross strap that we can put on here. And that simply mounts here to the D-ring and then mounts on the back here to a D-ring on the bag. And this allows me to stabilize the bag if I'm a bike rider. It keeps the bag from swinging around to the front. If I want to get off my bike and take the bag off, I can simply release that here. And uh, I don't have to take it off at both places. Let this down and take the bag off. So that's the cross strap. One last detail. On the, on the side of the bag, we have some webbing loops. Uh, this is actually the military webbing system that allows for accessories. And uh, you'll see this on military vests and packs. We've used that same system here, and we have a variety of accessories, uh, such things as zip pouches that mount to the side here. This would allow you quick access to uh, your cell phone and other items if you wanted to have that. It, this makes actually a great pocket for dumping things in when you're going through security in an airport. And then the other accessory uh, that we make is a water bottle pocket. And uh, so this is an insulated uh, bottle koozie, we call it, and that can go on the side of the bag as well for your water bottles. So, there's a lot going on here, uh, a lot of engineering, a lot of detail in the bag, and then of course uh, you can get this bag in a whole, whole host of fabrics and colors and binding colors. So, that's our flagship product, the Rickshaw Commuter Bag. Thank you.